winning over the Eglinton line. I was in the room when that happened. Uh-huh. So, uh, so this is the person to blame, Mel Lassman. Mel Lassman was not a supporter of the York University line. Okay? Uh, he really wanted the Shepherd line, even though we were told repeatedly by planners and transportation experts that the Shepherd line made no sense. It would never. Right. In fact, it costs us $12 million a year now to operate. So it makes no sense. So uh, the former NDP government had announced four subway lines, and uh, then the new government had said, no, we're only going to give you two, we're cutting down by one half the subsidy. So we were in the room at Metro Council. Metro Council was made up of all the mayors at the time of the Metropolitan Toronto area, plus councillors. We were in the room at 10 o'clock at night. The two lines that were going to make sense were the two that were going to be built, one of which was the uh, York University line, and the other was the Eglinton line. So I went home happy. We had a good night's sleep. At 9.30 in the morning, when we sat back at our seats, Mel had worked overnight and convinced the powers that be that uh, York was pulled and I believe that was the time that Eglinton was pulled. Shepherd was put back in the books. It was twice as expensive as the others, so it took all the money and less than half the riders being serviced. And so they spent $80 million to fill the hole that was dug on Eglinton so that no one could change their minds in the future. Mm. And now they've but, changed their minds. Yes! It was Bob Ray's suffering. Bob Ray's group suffering. Yeah. No. Oh, yes, no, he did. Oh, yes, he no, did. No, no. Actually, you should know that one other thing, <laughs> because it's funny, it's getting, it's getting, one that, it's yeah. funny, uh, in Rome, where they're trying, they've been trying for millennia to build subways, uh, every time they reach a new strata, uh, they find skeletal remains, right? Because Rome is a city built on uh, another city. So this has been going on for hundreds of thousands of years. So the bus biggest business in Rome now is uh, companies to remove the skeletal remains by night so that the archaeology department doesn't stop you from building the subway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.